Hey everybody, it's Brendan. In this episode, let's talk about one of the great myths out there, and that is that you should never compare yourself to others. And I say, oh no, you should absolutely compare yourself to others, but in the right way, in the healthy way, in the way that helps you grow or see new ways about uh, living, being, serving, achieving. But there are some ways you should certainly not compare yourself to others. So let's talk about all that. You know, the first way you should not compare yourself to others is in terms of, especially today, their fans, their fame, their followership, right? Their audience. Never do that. In my industry, that's very, very popular to do and it's ruined a lot of people's lives who don't ever rise up to serve because they think they're not popular enough. You know, it's like the, you write your first book and you don't have as many sales as other people and you think, oh, well, I don't have the audience. Or you go to someone's fan page and you see, oh my gosh, look at their followership. Look at how many Instagram followers they have, how many Twitter followers they have. And, and because you see them so big, you think, oh, I could never be that. So you don't even begin. And a lot of people do that. They say, well, I'm not that big, so they never start. But as I always say, you know what, no matter how small you start, start something that matters. Begin it. If I began my career looking at my heroes, looking at a, a Wayne Dyer or a Tony Robbins or a Marianne Williamson, a, a Deepak Chopra, a, a Jim Rohn back in the day, or, or looking at people like Og Mandinos who'd sold millions of books, or, or even the, the famous books that you saw, millions and millions and millions of copies. If I gauged myself to that and thought that was the expectation, I would never begin. So you can't expect to start out with tons of people. Some, some people say to me all the time, well, Brendan, it's so easy for you because you got millions of people on your email list and you have millions of people on Facebook and, and tens of millions on YouTube. I say, it doesn't make it any harder for me. I still show up and shoot this video. And the reason I have the followers and the fans and the audience is because I showed up and I started when there was only one dude, 10 dudes, 100 dudes, 1,000 dudes watching us. My first seminar that I ever did, we, we only had 22 people in the room. And now we fill up seminars nine times a year, often from people from 46 countries around the world fly in paying thousands of dollars a ticket. And what did I do? I, I started with 22 people in a room and most of those people didn't even pay. And every time the, the, the guy walked in with, with, with water, I counted him as one of those 22. <laughs> you know? like, I, I had no followership. It's never about how big you start. It's that you start and you get big by staying at it. Because what people do is they put out the first video, they write the first book, they, they try the first thing online and nobody follows, nobody watches and they quit. They get disappointed. And where there's disappointment, there was too high of an expectation on achievement versus learning, versus process, versus beginning. What you wanna do is never be disappointed. And the way that you're never disappointed is you understand every single step counts, every single step is learning, every single step gets you going. But if you have the aspiration or the, the attention that's only focused on their followership and meeting that, you'll never begin. Don't compare your followership to anybody else's. Instead, just compare your work ethic. Be there, show up, work, get it done. The second thing I don't want you to compare yourself to is other people's achievements. That means, their wealth, their sales number, their uh, big house, their big car, their whatever else, you know, their fancy clothes, their whatever they got. Don't look at other people's achievements and what they have. Because if you do that, it's also, you think, well, I'm not famous enough, and then you think, well, I'm not lucky enough, blessed enough, rich enough, whatever you th your excuse becomes. You gotta be very, very, very careful of that. And, and I know you know that, but lately, have you been looking at other people's stuff and feeling demoralized because of that? Well, I, you know, they had a silver spoon in their mouth or they're so lucky. Those types of things stop us from even trying because we feel like the game is unfair. Well, it's not. Most wealthy people, especially all the billionaires I've met, and I've been blessed to meet lots of them and coach a few of them. The mega stars that I get to work with, the, the Olympians I get to work with, the highest achieving people in the world, they, it's not luck, and most of them didn't have unbelievable lucky family connections. What they did is they hustled, they worked, they built it. And even if they started a little more abundant than other people, they outlasted their peers who also started out abundant because they gave, they worked, they struggled through, and we gotta keep going. The third thing, don't compare yourself ever in terms of looks, appearances, beauty. 
You know, I, I know if you're somebody who opens up those fashion magazines or those celebrity gossip magazines, you're always looking, oh, she's cuter than me. Oh, he's better looking. And then again, you have the excuse. Soon as you compare yourself to other people, you have the excuse to never begin. You have the reason to be demoralized. I mean, there's, if I looked across YouTube when I started doing my episodes or my videos or, or iTunes or podcasts, you know, I, I would have never begun because you got all these people out there. They're like, they're amazing. They look so good. They sound so good. And I sucked. I couldn't talk like this before. Now, as you know, all of our videos and every episode I've ever done has been unscripted. No notes, I got nothing. I'm looking right at you, there's nothing in front of me, I just go. And they're all in one single take, majority of them, I think 99% are one take. And that came from practice, where for years and years and years, years and years and years, I, I tried to be able to just speak extemporaneously without using notes, without using a script. I, I taught myself to do this. And if I'd compared myself to other people who were so polished and looking good and every word was precise, I would have never gotten to where we're at today with literally hundreds of millions of views and from our posts to our videos. It came because I didn't worry about the polish of looking like everybody else. I was just doing my thing. So what should you compare? Why should you be comparing yourself to others? For growth reasons, learning reasons. I mean, the first reason you should always compare yourself to others is for creativity. To, to get ideas, not to steal and not to compare, but rather to go, oh, how would I do that? It, you know, in comparing yourself to others, it brings in self-awareness to say, oh, look, this is how I'm distinct. This is how I'm different. This is how I could approach this in a different way. If I didn't research the market, I would never know how I could be different. If I didn't know how it could be different, I could never have a business. You cannot build a business or have a real career or make any major contribution without understanding how you're distinct. Steve Jobs knew that when he built the phone, it was different. And that, thinking differently, is what made him an icon. It's the same for everything that we do. Compare so you know what is out there, so you know how you could bring a new creative edge to it. Second reason to compare is to compare for vision. Because as you get self-awareness and you understand how you're distinct, Sometimes you see someone doing something amazing and you're like, wow, I, I got a bigger vision for myself. When I started seeing people posting videos, you know, back in 2007, I got a bigger vision for myself. I mean, 2007, I saw people posting longer videos online. I thought, wow, I never saw myself doing video, but look, look at how I'm watching these and I, I'm relating with these. I, I got to do some video. And by comparing myself to others, so other people I followed or researched or read their books and I saw they, they had a podcast, I'm like, I'm gonna get a podcast. It opened up my vision for the vehicles, the mediums, the, the ways that I could serve and give, and I want you to do the same. And the last piece, the reason to compare yourself, is for growth. There is an amazing amount of talent in this world. And, and when you see them, it should inspire you to level up. It, it inspired me to learn how to do video. It inspired me to learn how to speak extemporaneous. It, it inspired me to get over my fears of public speaking and step on a stage. And now it's in front of thousands and thousands of people to inspire the world. I, I, never, I, I never thought I could do that, but seeing other people sometimes achieve the remarkable, you get inspired. If, it's not about, if you can look at someone who's done something better than you and it inspires you, that means you have humility and you got a chance. If you look at other people who've achieved more, have more, look more, feel good, or are more amazing than you, and you get bitter or upset, that means you're small and you're destined to smallness. But if you can look at greatness and be inspired, you're on track. You're gonna live an extraordinary quality of life, the kind of life that we call the charged life. Hey guys, it's Brendan. Did you like this episode? If you did, you can do three things right now to continue your journey. First, you can subscribe right here to my channel, which I hope you will so I can keep sending you videos on a weekly basis to change your life. Second, you can get my brand new book for free by clicking the link right here. And third, you can also go to my website, sign up for my newsletter so that I can send you free offers, free products, free programs, updates on my events, new podcasts, and everything else that we don't do on this channel here. If you'd like to do that, just go ahead and click any of these buttons you see right here. Look forward to seeing it on the next video. Until then, go out there every single day of your life, live fully, love openly, and make your difference today.